நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா First Samuel chapter 1 verses 4 to 7 Whenever the day came for Elkana to sacrifice he would give portions of the meat to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters but to Hannah he gave a double portion because he loved her and the Lord had closed her womb because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her this went on year after year whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord her rival provoked her till she wept and would not eat anna had a good house but she did not have a good family a good house is different from a good family a house is a building and a family is a husband wife and children living together inside that building anna had a good house but she did not have a good family her rival kept provoking and hurting her she kept weeping it became her life routine what a sad situation But what's impressive is that Hannah didn't fight about this with her family. She didn't create problems in her family. She didn't crib or murmur to God. Imagine yourself in her situation. Would you be without fighting? Let me ask you something. How would we differentiate a praying person from a non-praying person? A praying person will endure any problem without creating a scene or chaos. When your family has problems, don't add to them don't be a trouble maker be a peace maker though hannah situation was difficult though her husband didn't take her side though she wept every day she didn't create any problem she sought god's presence she trusted in god today the lord is talking to you are you surrounded by problems look to god for solution pray for god to give you wisdom patience and faith seek the lord not the law and court When you look for God he will answer you his peace will come upon you hallelujah hallelujah god bless you